lovely, lovely to see you again. How are you? That's good. That's nice to hear. Right, let's get your profile up. to get your invite list done. Great, I've got it with you. Oh, wonderful, thank you. Okay. Very doable numbers, that's great. That's good, that's fine, thank you. Right, so before we begin anything, I need to know whether you spoke to your partner. Yeah. Did it go well? Oh, perfect. That's great. That's brilliant. That's sorted. Then we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Did you manage to have a chat about payment? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can do that for you, no problem. Check's fine. Okay. What I'll do then, if you want to do the amount that I roughly estimated, okay, then what I'll do, pay that in, obviously, do everything, and then I'll issue a refund, whatever is spare, okay. I will literally show you bit by bit. Obviously, my fee's fee, and that's standard, but the other bits, what I can do, obviously, I'll go through all with you and show you, just in case you do want to know, and then I will give you a refund, okay, if... It's gone under. All right. Like I said, if it goes over, I'll do my best to balance it out. All right. Does that sound okay? Brilliant. No problem. Yeah, if you want to do that, I'll just jot a few notes and then I can put that to side. All right. Thank you. Right. So. Happy with the pay when we discuss, it's great. Wonderful. Oh, great, thank you so much. I'll pop that there. And then we need to give you a receipt. Alright. So check. Okay. Do they act? Okay. They are. They are. Okay. Okay, so that's your receipt, my love. All right, make sure you keep that. Thank you. Talk the fun stuff now. Okay. I need to know if you've thought of a theme that you would like to go with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so still not sure. Okay. Have you got any idea of curse scheme? Okay, so you like ivory and pink. Okay. Any other? Mm-hmm. Right for red. Yep. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So we don't know about a theme at all yet, do we? We don't have to have a theme, we can just think of colours to go. So I get a rough idea of the colour scheme that you're wanting. We can go through and look at different colours and things to be 100% sure, 
Okay. As you say you're not sure on a theme, then my advice would be not to do a theme. Okay. The reason why I say that is if you wanted a theme, you would know before you even get here. Okay. For example, a couple might want a Harry Potter theme. So they'd want the colours that symbolise Harry Potter. They'd want certain things relating to Harry Potter and things like that. Okay, and they'd already know that. All right. And as you are not sure on anything in particular, I don't think it's the right way to go. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You agree? Good. So no theme. And because you haven't got a theme, I'm going to ask you a question. I always ask this question and it's very useful. All right, so the question I'm going to ask you is what is important to you and your partner? Okay, what message do you and your partner want to give out to people? What is it that your love symbolises? Okay, right, and what... What is you? What is a part of you, if that makes sense? Okay. Okay, when you're ready. Okay, so strength. Growth. Stability. Love. As one. Togetherness, happiness, family. Brave. Anything else? Really think about it. Freedom for yourself. Okay. Honest. Loyalty. Respect. Okay. I've got good things to work with there. All right. Some good things, some good points. Hmm. I'm going to have a little think on that one. Okay. See if I can come up with anything. Okay. So let's discuss the invites because I want to get these started ASAP. Okay. So are we going to go for card mm -hmm. and any idea on colour? I agree. Okay. So in that instant, then, do we want the floor plan and the name plaques for the table in the same? Same card and colour. Okay, let's go. Put that. Okay, that's good. Any idea on shape? Most people tend to stick with rectangle. Let's check it out to you. Okay. And the size. Again, okay, it's really up to you. So. We could have that size of it. We can have it like so or like so. It's totally down to you. Yeah, it really depends on what you actually want to write. Or if you've got, say, that, then we could have a little bit written out if you're wanting it, you know, stuck on in the centre because we can, you know, put borders on it and all sorts of things like that. Have you got anything in mind? Okay, so... Did we say half of an A5 then? Yeah? Okay, so we're talking about that. Yeah? And I want it just flat. Okay, so no folding and things. Okay. And okay. One side. Are you wanting me to put a nice coloured piece of paper in 
center. So let me show you. So here would be the invite. Are you wanting me to stick a say a white piece of paper there with the message on? I wanted it totally across there, or are you wanting me to print it specially on the card? What would you like to see? Okay. That's fine, I can sort that out for you, no problem. Okay, that's fine, no problem. Okay, so that's that. The name plaque, and we're going to stick to a rectangle. Mm -hmm. And obviously you've got the ivory, haven't you? So, and the font's going to be the same. Same colour too. And usually I say about, about that size, okay, about there, the name plaque. And what I like is to get it like so, to fold it, make it out of card. You can place it like that on the table with the names. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So, okay, so we're going to do two by Okay, and are you wanting the same with the name? Table plan. I'm thinking maybe about an A3 card, all right, which is quite rectangle, isn't it? Stick to obviously the ivory colour, same font, same colour of all that, etc. Okay, stick to that. Then I'm thinking what we could do, I'm going to get it all drawn up properly. Yeah, all my specialist graphic designers can do all that for us, don't worry about that. Okay, it could be cab guides and things like that, they're all good. They can sort all that things out. I can give them a drawn copy and then they can do all that for me, no worries, and print it and things like that. Okay, and then what we could do if you fancied, we could get some nice glittery coloured pens and things and we could write it on the names if you fancied. Might take a little bit, but it's not, not too overwhelming, I suppose, with the amount that you've got for the meal. It's totally up to you, or we can get it printed, it's fine. Yeah, what do you think? Have a think about that. I like that idea. I could write it for you. Not a problem. You don't have to do that. It's fine. Or we can get a couple of the girls to write it. I could even show you this. So in here, it's lovely, isn't it? Let me just show you. So, we have quite a few of these. We didn't want to use just the normal gel pens and things. A couple of the men downstairs are good at writing in fountain pen. Okay. It's very old style. It's quite unique. We've got ink. You can literally dip and write. So you could also write the names in that. What do you think? Or I could do it. I mean, I could write in that. It's not a problem. But a couple of the men downstairs are really, really good with calligraphy and things like that. So if you wanted to go down that route, I'd recommend doing that. Shane's quite good. It's quite good at things like that. So yeah, it's good. We can get different colour ink for you as well. Alright, so that's something to think about. And what I suggest is cutting the invite. Okay. A nice mini envelope. Okay. Like so. It can fit nicely in there. Do you like that? It's quite 
nice because we have similar like this and we could have that as your invite or I can get the same style but in my opinion. Yeah, it's got all sorts of things that you can look at. Let me think about that. Let me know when I'm next time. Okay, oh, I just have to show you that. Right, so you do like that idea, so. I like that you're flexible about things, I really like that. Get really creative, I absolutely love it. to go for round tables for the guests and are you wanting the top table as a rectangle? Okay. Okay, that's that's fine. So on the tables there I think they are a table of eight, I think they are top table. How many are you having on there? Yep, yeah, that's fine. You can just extend that a little bit to fit more on. Okay. Okay. So I need you to go away and have a think who you want on what table. I think that is an important task. Okay, so... large room isn't it so I'm going to do it that way mind my rough drawing okay we will do it neater before we send it off okay so if we can have one We split your gas between um, just add that up. Another one, two. Mm, okay. Okay. That's fine. We can work with that. Are any of them children? I'm guessing so. How many do you know? Okay. Just make a note of that. All right. Okay. Okay, so top table. Bear in mind this will be on an A3 piece of paper. Okay, I'm just going to literally fit it all on here. So top table, okay, and are we wanting it in any particular style? Because the room, we could have like one, two, three, four, like that and maybe go into the centre. So you've got about 75, have we, for the day meal. 
So if we can do 8 times 8, 64. So let's try 9 times 8, 72. Okay, so 72. Right, okay, so on the top table, how many you've got? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And is that including that? Oh, brilliant. That's fine then, that's plenty. Okay, so top table. Then we can have that one, that one, that one, that one. Four there. We can have four, five, six, eight, nine. Okay, now this is very rushed, okay, so please mind my drawing and it's small, but top table, okay, like so. And then I'm thinking, as we go around the room, so think of it as a circle, okay. So we've got one here, one, one, right round, sort of go around like that. So sort of one central, if you know what I mean. And that will be nine tables. Yeah, don't worry, what I'll do, I will draw it up when you're away and I can get on that sketch properly so you can see what I mean. There we go, top table. So if we do five like that in the centre, okay, then we want four around the centre table. Does that sound alright? Good. Wonderful. Yeah, that's great. So I like that idea. It's really good, isn't it? Okay. And then what we could do in the nice pens, we could literally just write their names. Kind of, we could do an arrow, maybe do like a nice box. Uh, say, you know, Bobby or something like that, whichever name your guests are. And, and then one here, maybe. Or what we can do like a key. So we can have a key at the side of the table now, okay, and certain, I don't know, colour equals a certain person or something like that. So you can have the key with all the names, and then you can have each person can have a shape, a letter, colour, or a bit of both, mix it all up. And then that will be exactly where the seats are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight seats. And then we could literally colour that pink, say, and that would be like Joanna, red, and that would be Sarah, etc. Does that make sense? And that'll be all in the key with the names. Good. I like, I'm glad you like that. It's great. Okay. And then on your invite. the typed info there and we keep it quite central so you've got the invite okay then this would be the paper probably some nice fancy colour or something like that and then we'll have the, the person and the venue and all that written kind of there but we'll plan out that a bit further down the line okay then name plaque it's basically going to be the same okay it's going to be like I said folded okay rectangle shape folded piece of paper with I don't know the name there yeah okay that's an okay good right let me just jot a few notes okay While I'm doing this, just popping this on here, if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, and I'll answer them.
added that on. I will keep obviously all these pieces of paper that we've gone through, okay, but I'll just typed briefly up on the system. Okay, I'll do a bit more when you're gone. Okay, are we wanting linen on our chairs and things? Okay, so we've got some fabrics. Okay, so this is quite a nice ivory. Okay, so we get it like a silk. Can get cotton in the same shade. Is that the kind of colour we're looking for? Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? Got just have a look. Can mix it up slightly. Can even put the ivory in something like this. Central the bows even, and it can go in the middle. It's quite browny gold in the light. It's, it's a slight different colour. Yellow, I don't think you want that. Or that, no. Okay. White, you didn't want white, did you? Okay. Got different shades of blue. Okay, got blue again. It's a pinky colour, but I imagine that's not quite the shade that you're looking for. Am I right? Yeah, I didn't think so, but it's an idea anyway. It's quite perfect, isn't it? Another shade of blue. I can get some more fabrics for you as well, don't worry. So we don't want like the black, do we? This is like a light grey, this one. It's like a grey. It looks quite purpley. Green. Then we've got now this is nice, okay. This is not white. It's not ivory, it's a very light, pearly kind of shade. I really I like this. It's lovely. Obviously things look slightly different in different colours, but you can also get it in this pinky colour. It's like a blush pink, which is really nice. It is, isn't it? That and ivory is quite a nice look. Mm. Okay, got a really vibrant pink. I don't think that's the one either. And then this red. I do have different shades of red. This is just one of them. So these are some of the colours that we have for the table and chair covers, okay. And these are like a silk material, okay. We do have the same colours in cotton as well, different types. But what I will do is I'll bring a selection of different types of fabrics when I next see you. You can also have patterned ones and different things like that. I'll bring some ribbon so you can get an idea of bows and we can talk about different kinds of bows and things like that as well. So don't worry about that. Yeah, we can really go into depth with these things. I want to you know, take our time and make sure that 
each and everything that you're having is exactly how you want it. Okay. Yeah, it's very important to me, that is. Okay. But these are good. The swatches are good to have a look at colours for like, suits and things like that. Yeah. We also have here... So, I'd like you to decide as well if you'd like some napkins. So we have these type of napkins. You can also get really fancy ones, or fabric ones, okay? But these are um, basic paper ones, okay? Obviously you've got all sorts of different colours. Some have got patterns on there as well. Okay. Here we have a sample of some of the cotton. So we can have tablecloth in this. Which is quite nice. And the chairs. We've got a striker one, which some people like, but it's not very popular. We have this cute one. You can get an idea of the colours of this as well. So we've got birds and flowers and things. Hmm, birds. Birds. Hmm, I think I've got an idea. Oh, hang on a moment, let me get my sketch pad. Well, I've got it in my mind. leaves and then birds all flying out of the tree. Now, the reason why I say that, okay, let me read to you. The willow tree represents nature, fertility, life, represents balance, learning, growth, harmony, love, represents strength, stability, standing firm, Stand in your greatest challenges. Okay. Good health, positive energy, bright future, growing old together. What do you think? And the birds symbolise you flying off your future together. You like it? Me too. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's accepting as well who you are. Being brave, being you. <sighs> I like that. We can have ivory, possibly black and then pink. Mm. And then we could have that as sort of like a logo, and that could be on the invites and everything like that. We can sort of use things, so even like the heart. Leaves, we could use the same heart, but for something else. 
that makes sense. We could also even make a table plan as for one third tree. And then go like that to plan the names around it. Oh, so much to look forward to. Oh, it's lovely. Great. What do you think? You like it? Good. I'll do a little bit more with that in my time for you, so don't worry. Let me just pop that on. So please chat with your partner, okay? For any reason they don't agree, please let me know. We can come up with something else. Okay, I can do two weeks' time, same time. Yeah, okay, I'll book you in. Would you like me to write that down for you? Okay, no problem. Any problems, please give me a call. Text and things like that, no problem. What I would do is I would draw up some things for you. So I'll draw up the idea that I come up with and I'll put some colours together. I will look into fabrics and things more on the table, table decorations. Okay, I've got a few little things to show you before you head off. These are quite nice. We can sprinkle them over the table. We could put them in like little like, pot glass pot vase things. Or we can get these in different colours: rose gold, gold. Pinks, all sorts of different shades. Okay. Get some sequins. We could sprinkle these over the table. Put them in pots like these and different things like that. The different colours of those as well. Yeah? Let's have a little think about that. We can also get things like these different colours and we can put them as placemats and get different styles of these as well. This is just this one style I've grabbed. We can liaise with the venue on that. Yeah, it's got all sorts of different ideas there. Okay, so we will discuss table decorations, colours. Have a really good think about colours. Let me know. Okay, fabrics. I will draw up the table plan, things like that. Okay, that that's fine. I can do that. No problem. Sort that out. Get that out. Get the first drafts of that. Okay, I need you to, once you're happy with the colour scheme, if you could let me know, email me or something, then I need you to start thinking of colours and how you want your flowers. So please think of flower types and then the colours of them. We can get change them, we can dye them, not a problem. K 
cake. Please think of cake kind of colour, but I've got an idea for cake already, so leave that with me. Okay, I'm thinking similar to the tree, pots, birds and things like that. I'll design something for you. So let me go away and design that. I can go through with you. What I could do, if you wanted to, I could sit down and design it for you, so you can just literally sit there, and I can go through and sketch it while you're with me. Yeah? Do you want to do that then? Okay. Alright, so I've got a rough idea. Clarify all this with your partner. Let me know. Then I will see you for a catch-up, and we'll go through the definite answers on what you're wanting from that and I will show you the finished products then we'll go on to the cake design and the flower design okay so you just let me know flower types and colours when you come okay I'm thinking possibly light roses ivory ones and possibly light pinky ones that might be quite nice and then just some like greenery coming out of it but I can draw that for you and see what I think um, yeah I'm happy with that Brilliant. Any questions, my love? Okay. No problem. You're very welcome. Yeah, everything is in control. Please don't worry. Yeah, everything will be sorted. Okay, well, I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. We can get down to all the other exciting stuff because I'm really excited. I bet you are. Not so nervous now. Mm -hmm. But you trust in us. That's really good. Looking well. So, all right, my lovely. Okay. Well, you take it easy, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. All right. You take care now. Bye bye.